19-year-old Eduardo spent the last six years in the infamous Big Family Youth Shelter, run by caregiver Mama Rosa. In July, police raided the center, releasing more than 500 minors who described scenes of neglect, abuse, and violence. What do I live for? Who gets tired of the abuses, sexual abuses, physical abuses, verbal abuse? So it was not a pleasant place to be. You had to be strong, to have enough strength to continue onward and not give up. The high-profile case provoked lawmakers to discuss legislation to greater protect minors and penalize abuse. Known as the General Law for the Rights of Youth and Children, it seeks to overhaul outdated legislation approved 25 years ago. Ese piso que requerimos fuerte, debidamente fundado. We need that strong foundation, written in harmony with international agreements, as well as the Mexican Constitution, so as to have a policy that is truly in favor of children's rights. Hacer una política a favor de los derechos de las niñas y los niños. While few debate the necessity of the legislation, many civil organizations call for greater consultation and participation, criticizing what they say are laws that often remain on paper rather than be executed. I believe that there needs to be clear and transparent structures when people from civil society organizations can participate and say, all right, what can we do with the other organizations to work with them and clean them up rather than close them down or ignore them? All of a sudden, Mama Rosa is widely known, but there must be thousands of Mama Rosas in Mexico. Some critical lawmakers also raise concern over certain articles of the law that will limit freedom of expression and potentially penalize the media if not fulfilled. Clayton Khan, Telesur, Mexico City.